guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and those who are in full support from the jump you are my heart thank you so much guys thank you so so much for those who might be new please take a quick second go hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell and at any point along the way if you like the content hit the like button because it shows me more specifically the type of things that you want to see, the what you want to hear, and I can produce more of that. So it's so helpful. <laughs> um, but guys, I just want to share um, a story about how my five senses really helped me grow my relationship with God. And it was not long ago. It was not long ago that I realized that all the five senses, it was like, a direct gateway right to my spirit and as different things were coming up I really had to be more selective of what I was allowing to happen and okay for example have you ever wondered why like certain songs and certain lyrics can trigger your, your emotions like in a big way in a few moments, you can go from being just hunky-dory, regular old Tuesday to being feeling more romantic and like lovey-dovey, sappy, or angry, or in man-hater mode, <laughs> or maybe you're just happy. Maybe you go from like a funk and you turn on music and it gets you going every morning. Like, that's powerful. But it's because our ears, our ears are like to offer direct access right to your spirit. And in Romans 10, 17, that concept is actually stated. And it says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So if you think about that, like we can have faith in many things. We can put and place our faith in many things. And in a lot of ways, this world has taught us to do that un, un uh, blatant. Like it's just not apparent. And here's, here's a good example. If you are already filling your ears, and sometimes these are with your own words, guys. You, can, you might be telling yourself through self-hatred like, uh, like, oh, you're, nobody cares about you don't don't say that amber like mm -mm. this is not helpful people are going to be annoyed by you that's you need to replace that with speaking out of your mouth the things that you are knowing who you are in christ and saying it out loud say i am loved i am chosen and i am a child of god that's a few examples to say the least <laughs> um but if you're speaking death into your life like oh i'll never lose the weight it's never gonna happen for me. You need to swap that out and start speaking life and say, I may not be where I wanna be, but I know exactly where I'm headed. I see the direction I'm going and I am laser focused and God's gonna help me get there. Or what if you say, oh, I just can't. Oh, I can't, like, y'all, like these, these things are just too hard, it's just too much. Like, I can't get all this done. There's no way I'm gonna be able, I can't do that. You need to start saying, I can through Christ who strengthens me. You need to start saying, anything is possible when you love the Lord. Like, guys, there's so much power there. But when you start believing the things that you're saying, even when you're playing around, that is dangerous. That's dangerous because you're sabotaging yourself. But you can easily, and sometimes, you know, maybe it's not self-talk. Maybe you have somebody who's verbally abusive in your life. Maybe somebody said something when you were a kid and it was a bullying moment, but it stuck with you and it shaped a big part of you. I mean, I'll, I, will, I will speak for myself and I'll share a little bit of my own testimony that I feel like for whatever reason, I can't say anybody specifically said it to me, but I there were many times where I dealt with a lot of self-hatred, whether I would say it out loud or just allow it to control me. 
I would hear kind of internally that I was very insignificant or unwanted or unloved and unworthy of a good thing. I felt and believe I believed it. It got to a point where I went from being a bold, outgoing, popular personality to a very shut down, defensive. My confidence came from illegitimate places because I started to believe those things about myself. And it was not until God started to place me in positions that I would hear his word. And it started to grow me to a point of actually listening to more worship music instead of secular music. Not because I didn't enjoy the secular music, but it wasn't feeding me the right things. It was feeding me lust. It was feeding me feminine like power that is not healthy for the relationships that I wanted. It was feeding me anger and sadness. I can't even tell you how many times I could play the same sad song over and over again. That's, that's the type of area where you have control. You can hit stop and you can push play on something else, which I guess we're not really, that's old, right? Like now it's like tapping. <laughs> I so, I'm not good at the new stuff, guys. But for real, like you have control over what your soul ingests. And it's your job that's part of taking care of this temple. Your body is, God lives within it. And when you're feeding it a bunch of junk, you, you're not going to be able to hear God. You're not going to be able to hear it. Now, when you start weeding some of that funk out and listening, tuning your ears that way to hear God specifically, get out of here. You won't even be able to control it. Like You're going to be able to hear God so clearly. And he's going to start letting the Holy Spirit just whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Like anything. It could be silly little stuff. It could be big things, major things that save your life. But it's things that when you're obedient through faith, that that is actually God. That that is the Holy Spirit just as a gift of who he is just being with you. Oh, the blessings, guys, the blessings, the blessings. And I'm only able to say that because I experience it now. But it wasn't that long ago that I didn't. It wasn't that long ago that I didn't understand. And I just feel like I'm bold enough, crazy enough, and willing to be awkward enough to start telling people. Because if you can hear me say it, and if you know me, I don't just jump on, like, y'all, I really don't. I don't just jump on bandwagons. I don't just start saying stuff. Honestly, I don't even like a lot of like focus on me, which I'm doing that now. <laughs> but seriously, guys, God loves you. He loves you so much and he wants you to know it. Sometimes it starts just by hearing it. Grow your faith in the right areas. Start cutting out the junk. And watch the way he blooms, just blooms in everything that you're doing. It's going to start coming out of your mouth too. So you might want to think I'm all funny acting and, and sound all weird now, but you wait, you're going to be singing the same tune with me. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this video and just liking and sharing and subscribing and all the things. Please stay tuned. I'm serious. Hit that notifications bell because there's five senses, senses and this is just one video. So stay tuned. There's more to come. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.